Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. I have a quick tip for you when it comes to animation. So I have this little dude and he's jumping up and down. I just made four keyframes. Um, there's just a null where you can uh, just animate that really quick. This guy's actually free, so I'll put a link down below. You can download and play around with him. But yeah, so I have four uh, keyframes. And let's say that I want this uh, animation to repeat a bunch of times. Maybe it's a walk cycle or something like that. Well, if you're just starting out, you might think that you need to uh, hold down control and drag, and then you would duplicate all these keyframes, and you could do that a few times, and then you would have a repeating animation. The problem with setting up this way is if your client comes back and has any changes to the timing of this or how high he's jumping or anything like that, you have a bunch of different keyframes that you have to mess with now. And that's definitely not uh, the easiest way to work. So what we're going to do instead is have our repeating happen automatically. And we're going to do that by using the before and after animation settings. So if we click on our hip controller over here, you'll notice that we have the object properties. However, if we open up our timeline by going to Window, uh, Timeline, and we click on our controller right here, you'll notice that the bottom right corner changes and we have this before and after. Now by default, this is gonna be set to off. And what we can do now is just make sure that our hip controller is selected and we can go to after and change that to repeat. And right now you can't really see what's going on. If we hit play, you'll see it repeating once. Um, but it's kind of nice to get a visual of what's going on as well. So if we go to our F curves, you can see that we have our colored keyframes, but then we also have this black sort of ghosted keyframe, and that's uh, the computer generating the extra repetition. So if we want to add more, all we have to do is increase our repetitions, and it's going to loop as many times as we want it to. So now we have a really easy setup where everything's looping and it's only based on four keyframes. So if we wanna go back and change the timing at any point, we can just mess with those four keyframes and it's gonna affect all the repetitions. Um, you also have some different options like oscillate, which is gonna ping pong back and forth. And then also you have the before options, which um, if we click repeat, you can see that it's gonna repeat before. And that's just if you started this animation somewhere in the middle of your timeline and you want to go back in time, you could do it that way. So there's a bunch of different options in here for repeating and ping-ponging back and forth with your keyframes. So I hope that helps you guys out. As always, thank you for checking out the Pixlab, and we'll talk to you next time. Ciao.